I think it's important to show this stuff. Again, I don't support Elizabeth Warren. I support Bernie Sanders. But Elizabeth Warren had a likable moment last night at the LGBTQ uh, town hall. <clears throat> and the reason I'm sharing this is because you have to understand why she's likable. Okay, so look, I know right now there are people that are going to be bothered by this video because she appears likable. But get over yourselves. Watch Elizabeth Warren here and um, understand her appeal. So Elizabeth Warren reminds me a lot of Obama in a way. Because she is progressive rhetorically, but we don't quite know if we can actually trust her to go through with the things that she is promising. And even the things that she is promising, like Medicare for all, sometimes she's not really promising them all the time. So she's wavering on the most important issues, which if she is doing that already in a primary race, how much can you really trust that candidate to fight for, for example, Medicare for all if she becomes president? But with that said, understand why people like her. So let me bring up this clip. So watch this exchange and uh, you'll get why I'm making the comparison um, to Obama. Let's say you're on the campaign trail and you're I approached. Have you have been, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a supporter approaches you and says, Senator, I am old fashioned and my faith teaches me that marriage is between one man and one woman. What is your response? Well, I'm going to assume it's a guy who said that. <laughs> and I'm going to say, then just marry one woman. <laughs> I'm cool with that. <laughs> Assuming you can find one. <laughs> <laughs> that was legitimately funny that was legitimately funny so this is Warren has a likable personality but understand you have to support somebody that is more than just their personality you have to support somebody that you know will actually fight for you. So I think it's important for, for people that support Bernie to, to recognize why Warren is so likable. Warren is definitely a likable person, um, especially in moments like this. And she has a platform that I think is convincing to enough people to make them think, oh, okay, well, Bernie, Warren, I mean, it's time for a woman in the White House. Uh, I like Warren. Let me just support Warren over Bernie. But you have to understand who will fight for you. Who has shown fight? In 2016, who had the guts to go up against the Clinton machine? It wasn't Warren. Bernie Sanders waited to see if Warren would run against Hillary Clinton. She didn't. She was afraid to. Bernie Sanders had the guts. He knew he had to change the conversation in the country. And he launched his campaign with very little hope, You know, especially in the media, the press making fun of him. Oh, this guy has no chance against Hillary. And launched a campaign that wasn't even just a campaign for president, but really a complete transformation on how Americans think about issues in America. So whether it's Medicare for all, income inequality, even issues of, of, of uh, foreign policy. I mean, Bernie Sanders is somebody who has shown fight his entire life. You know, if given the power, he will fight for you. As a senator, just as a senator, he's gotten Amazon to raise their wages. As a senator, imagine him as president. I mean, it's just, you have a, as I say in my appearance on No Filter on the Young Turks, Bernie Sanders is a once-in-a-lifetime candidate. You have the opportunity here to nominate somebody who you absolutely know will fight for you. And it's not even just a, yeah, uh, yes, he will fight for you. But it's also important to, to emphasize he will beat Trump or any Republican because he gets people out to vote. He gets non-voters out to vote. Both parties are historically unpopular. Bernie Sanders is a lifelong independent. As a lifelong independent, there are people out there that don't normally vote that see Bernie and, and see somebody in Bernie that has a history of calling out both parties and can 
call out both parties, doesn't have the pressure from either party to, to fit into a certain box. He has said publicly that if he's president, he will rally people all across the country to put pressure on their senators, on their congresspeople to support bills like Medicare for All. He will put pressure on people like Joe Manchin, a Democrat, to get him to support, to, to get the people in West Virginia to put pressure on Manchin to support Medicare for All. And Bernie has also said that he will support primary challengers against Democrats that are corporate Democrats, that don't speak for the average person. Elizabeth Warren would not do that. Elizabeth Warren has great qualities, but she is a member of the Democratic Party. And she has said now recently that she will help raise money, help raise big dollar corporate money for the Democratic Party. And that's if she wins the nomination. So, so right now she's you know running this campaign where it's all individual grassroots support, like Bernie Sanders, all individual donors. Um, though you could argue Warren brought in $10 million from her previous uh, Senate race that a lot of that money is corporate money. Okay, but going forward right now, she's raising individual dollars. But if she wins the nomination, her new position, so before she said, oh, I'll raise money from everywhere. Now she is saying, well, for her, for her campaign, she won't do that. For her campaign, she'll continue raising the way she's raising it from individual donors. But she will appear at Democratic Party fundraisers with big donors. So, which Warren are you getting? Is this a campaign for the people or not? That's the issue here. We don't really know what we're getting with Elizabeth Warren. You don't really know who, who she is. Because she doesn't have that fight. Even if she has many of the correct positions, or at least close to some of the correct positions, she doesn't have the fight. Not even in a primary does she have the fight. She's been wavering on something as simple as Medicare for All, wavering on that in a primary. So, even... This, this is why I show moments like this, because I want people to get that I recognize that Warren is likable. Warren is a likable person. That does not mean you should vote for her. That does not mean that she deserves your vote. There is another candidate in the race that absolutely will fight for you that deserves your vote, and that's Bernie Sanders.